Hi everyone, it's Zach here, JR. I have interesting news. Direwolf has added Mistcraft to his mods, so I've added it too. Downside, and an upside to connected, is um, my Hangable Map mob mod. It's not looking good for it. So, it means I'm going to have to remove it. This makes me sad because, uh, um, Maps there or something? I don't know. Okay, there. It was just being picky. This makes me sad because I really like that map. It looked really cool. But I can't help it. The Hangul map, it... It's unofficially updated. I, I'll have to check, keep checking to see if it's ever updated by the original mod author, but as of right now, there's not really much I can do about it. On the upside... Let's see. That's right, I was just uh, doing my sugar cane. There we go. On the upside, there's something. Crafting Table 3. It's like the Crafting Table 2, except by someone else because the person that did Crafting Table 3 didn't update. So, yeah. Well, I'm going to... I can't actually use it right now, because uh, if I tried to use it, it would crash spectacularly. And in fact, uh. There we go. I should have some books over this way. By over this way, I mean, uh. Oh, no, no books. Um. No books there either. Huh. Weird. How weird. And, uh, oh, yeah, got some of those. Pulling out, pulling out, pulling out. No. Dropping back in. Bow. Nothing I can do from here. Huh. Music disc. Bone. There we go, plant matter. Weird. Hmm. And a bone. No? Okay. Ah, well. I'll just dump this all back in there. Wait, wait. Ah, dang it. I just saw... A bookcase. Grab out all the bookcases. All the bread. All the stone. Toss a bookcase in there. And I can uh, try grabbing out the spider. There we go. There's a book. Toss it all back in. Taking more time than I thought it would. Toss a book in. Come on. Forgot. Target that. Get craft bench. Oh, I would. There we go. Crafting bench in the book. We'll get you crafting bench three. Hmm, where do I want to set it? I'll set it over there. Nice like the other crafting bench too. It's one hit, but then I try to and Oh, hey, look! Frozen. So yeah, I'll be right back after uh, removing the map mod from my lineup. Okay. There we go. You're seeing it's getting all this kind of stuff. But it's even cleverer than the, um, than the other one was. Uh, I'll grab a piece of wood. And with Crafting Bench 2, what you would have saw was uh, the option for all the stuff you can make from a log. This time, it iterates through all the stuff that you currently have and what it can make. So not only does it see that from a piece of log you can make wood. Apparently you can make any type of wood, weird enough. But it sees that, hey, with that wood, we can make sticks. And then it looks and says, hey, with those sticks, we can make a gear. And with that gear, we have stone, so we can make a stone gear. Or stone sword. Or any of these other things. So it's a lot. It's really cool. Oh, yeah. I'm glad that 
I'm not glad because it means that the map, uh, let's see if the maps even show up now. No. It, I'll have to find out about that because it, the map's not working. And it's completely miscraft, so I'll have to just figure out what miscraft is doing to the maps to even begin. But I have some other stuff which I can get right on. Let's see. Um, I discovered Quicksilver Core, which is pretty neat. Grab this. It doesn't really go here, but I need the uh, that. There we go. Yes, yeah, so that stuff makes Quicksilver. Now let's see, what other things do I want to take care of over here? Um, I'm going to, if you see this up here, you'll pretty quickly realize EE. -E. There we go. And I'll come over here. And with the uh, stuff there, I was going to make a Thonian axe. And, um, uh, huh? Apparently, okay. Probably my fault, then. Uh, what kind of thing does the sword, or the axe, use? I'm actually kind of happy I got it wrong, because, um, I don't have that many of the vaporous crystals. Loss. Yeah, it's aqueous. Cool. That's good. Means I don't use up, basically, all my, uh, those. I use up all my aqueous crystals instead. Herp derp. There we go. Axe of the stream. Now let's see, uh, what else do we have over here? Anything important? No, okay. Now I come over here, and, well first of all, I had that uh, quicksilver thing, so I'll pop that in there. This is one of those upgrade things. I'm going to be using it on, first of all, this has two upgrade slots and you can't stack double up, so I can put one there. Look at that, it adds that awesome little animation to it. I'm going to come over to my chest here and add it to it. So now when it follows me, it'll be faster. Next up, um... I pick up my crucible, come in here, and I discovered the, uh, crucible vise. Come here, crucible, spider eye, and some redstone. Let it churn away a little bit. Crucible vise. But it doesn't stop there. I also discovered the Thaumian crystal, or crucible. Yeah. And, uh, I didn't have enough of the uh, Thaumian ingots, so it's a uh, crystal. I'm not sure if it's a specific crystal, but I do know that that works. Two Thaumian ingots and a uh, crucible vise, and it will get you Thaumian crucible. And that's the end of my uh, crucible upgrades. This thing, eat, no matter how much you throw in, will not overflow, and it's more efficient. Next up, I got a, the upgrade for my boots. I'll need my boots. Probably need them repaired. Yeah, I lengthened this off so I actually fit everything on it. There we go. If you'll notice, I need some uh, blaze powder. And uh, I don't seem to have any blaze powder on me. But this, something you find in deserts, can be turned into blaze powder. So that's pretty convenient. Pretty convenient that I was in a desert at one point and uh, found it. Fiery crystal, blaze powder, and your seven league boots. And I've already been having lots of fun with the seven league boots, so uh, boots a meteor. Next up, more upgrading. Yeah. See the arcane singularity, earth crystal, and uh, four stone slabs. All the upgrades seem to use stone slabs, so I'm guessing that's just to represent the backing. There we go. 
And now I'm going to, uh... This can use it. That can use it. That can use it. And that can use it. And it basically just makes them more efficient, so that's quite handy. It doesn't have any actual vis visual effects yet, like the Quicksilver hat on that. It does have a visible effect. And here's a reinforced tank. It's just the uh, tank and that. That's how come I was trying to uh, empty out the tank here a little bit. Well, it can't be helped. 70 taint into the air. I'll throw that in. I'll throw that in. Huh. Oh. Don't want that. Now I'm going to be tricky. I'm going to put that there and uh, grab up my bellows here. Now, if you notice, uh, over here, the gray numbers, 10 vis, 10 taint, that's how much it's trying to pull. So if I put this bellows here, all of a sudden it's got a 20 vis, 20 taint, which is more than the 10 vis, 10 taint that this has. So soon enough, it'll have emptied this all out. Lots of taint. But the reinforced thing can take it better than the other stuff could. that. Uh, what? Me? Doing something? No, never. <laughs> Throw that in there. Because it's still hooked to the system by being there, I still get to use it. And then I'll grab me the tank out. Have to do it slightly. Mm. And if you hear that sound, that's uh, some stuff I did with seals. Magic teleportation via seals. There we go. Now, uh, here's hoping that the. Okay, yeah, it's there. Yep, there we go. It's sucking the stuff out of here. And then I'll be able to uh, yeah, move this over there. And I was able to do that without losing too much. I did lose a little bit. But, can't really be helped. I think I like lost like one taint there for a moment. Oh well. Dang it. That's what I was trying to avoid. Actually, no, the bellows uh, right back down there. And then I uh, put the chest right back down there. There we go. Things back in place and nice and happy. Come over here. I also discovered the Thomic Duplicator, the Arcane Focus Air, Charm of Life, the Advanced Vis Valve. Shovel Renewal, Nert Carpet, and the Thomic Crystallizer. This one can turn the uh, used crystals back into regular crystals. And all that stuff's pretty cool, but not quite what I'm going for right now. Um, do I want it to stay? Yeah, I'm not doing anything where I'd want it following me right now. Oh, and uh, Taint Spores. Yeah, I got this from a spot, that teleport system actually. It's getting dark, so um, I'll continue crafting and then you'll see it. It's kind of hard to see with the uh, uh, silver tree taint, or ta bleh, label, but it says taint and obelisk. 
and that's where I'll be heading off to. Um, let's see. I'll do this first. Let's see if it can actually iterate through enough to find it. Nope. Okay, yeah. I'm going to need a couple of TNT. Oh, snap. Um. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess I remember reading about that, but, uh... Uh... Philosopher's Stone... Option. Yeah, so for those of you, uh, wanting to do stuff with this memo to you and to myself, uh, it doesn't like the, uh, Philosopher's Stone recipes. Doesn't like them very much at all. Yeah. There we go. Move those down, move those up, grab that there. Take two Nova Catalyst. Uh, there, 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 there. There, 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 there. And the flint and steel will get me the destruction catalyst. Nice little tool, good for mining. Though I figured out a really interesting way to mine that doesn't cost any energy from the uh, stuff. Now, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Now this it should be able to uh, detect. Um, besides having all... No? Okay. Oh wait, yeah, there we go. Energy collector, energy collector, antimatter relay. Mostly because of the one thing I've been doing to mine really got me a lot of sand. Where do I want to put them? I'm really running out of room. I've been planning to make a room off that away, but I haven't gotten around to it yet, so, um. Hmm. Oh, I guess I could use the recently vacated area up there. I don't want to be using torches for it, though. I'll use the, uh... There we go. There we go! Antimatter relay. And now I'll grab, um, a stack of redstone. And, uh, half in there. Half in there. I'll let that work up. I don't really plan to use it, the stuff from EE for anything but EE, but I will be using it. It'd be kind of a shame not to. I already got some stuff up to coal, which if I'd known it had been coal next, I would have done slightly different, but whatever. Let's see what's in there. Okay, I finished everything I was going to show from there. I finished stuff from there, so I'm going to be sleeping and being right back then. Okay. Now. Oh. First of all, I've got that uh, fancy new axe, so I'm going to go uh, use it. And there's been an update, so now the axe doesn't just kind of destroy itself trying to mine, or... blocks, so that's good, because that would have been kind of annoying using it and suddenly having it out there. Dumps it on my head. Woo! There we go. Collected quite a bit of wood. Okay, um, what else? Over... Oh yeah, um, I added another crystal chest because I came by at one point and I'm like, hey, this was full. So I've just kind of been moving the uh, sugar cane, whatever, and I come by here over into here. Yeah. And I self-harvested it at one point. Actually, I did it just before this because I wanted to, uh, 
I wanted a bit of... And now I do have the teleport thing set up, but... Why am I being hurt? I shouldn't be being hurt. The boots should be protecting me. There we go. Don't know what that was about. But yeah, I do have a teleport over to this place, but... Man, this is fun. It looks like these boots don't protect me as much as... Well, actually, no. This is about the tolerance that the other boots had, anyway. Because it's like, I think you are jumping higher with these than the other ones. But but these have an added nifty ability. Go up. Press shift. Boom! <laughs> so yeah, explosive. Tons of fun. Jump on a pig. And here we are, a taint area. Uh, you should protect more against. Um, I've been getting uh, taint artifacts from just the uh, regular stuff here. I probably should grow a tree or something, and I've been um testing. Oh, there we go. I've been working on a good design for the holding pens for the uh, pre-infected stages. And what I've been finding is I think they change after they've walked a certain distance because uh, occasionally I can uh, take them and uh, it's kind of hard in their little cells, but if I take them and uh, make them run along the ground, it'll turn into a tainted thing eventually. Oh, there we go. And uh, because it's a new entity, basically, when you do that, you lose uh, control of it. So, yeah, be careful about that. Oh, nope, not what I wanted. I originally had been just uh, dumping them all in this pit, but then I realized, oh, hey, um, they're uh, killing each other. The well, not each other. The pre-transformed stage. In general, I seem to be getting more of the uh, taint spores by just hitting plants, but uh, the taint organ is something you get from the creatures. So I've been just uh, popping over here every once in a while, kind of hitting stuff. Um, I don't think the other stuff, but uh, creepers, they uh, they can become tainted. Yeah. So can all the peaceful mobs, including villagers, oddly enough. So, yeah. Anyway, since I'm here and I've already shown you my jumping, I'll show you my portal back. See? Boom. Easy enough. And the, uh, this stuff is where I got the, uh, better holding tanks from. Researching. Well, actually, no, I don't want to research that right now. I don't have any books. Boom, boom, boom. It's almost all up to that. Let's fill up my inventory. Let's see. Three, three, three. Three, three. Okay. Try to keep it even enough. Oh, and, uh... If you notice, it's like over here and most of the other chunks around. It's like, it's got about uh, between three and 5,000 vis and about 1.5 thousand taint in the general places. But then uh, I go into the chunk where my room is located and boom, over 8,000 vis and over 2,000 taint. 
<laughs> yeah, it, it's definitely doing something. And let's see, uh... Yeah, there we go. Books. Um. Okay. Huh. It's acting weird. Well, I'll uh, dump this stuff in here real quick and see what happens. There we go. I don't know why it was doing that. It just was. That Any more random stuff. Okay, uh, I can throw the flower in there. Okay, there we go. I guess it's sometimes picky, and I don't mind that. Throw in here, and the uh, they're both common, so I'm guessing they're about the let's see, uh, 18. 18. Yeah, they're they're basically the same. So I'm gonna put those in because they'll be used up quicker. And then um, there we go. And uh, I wanted to. Oh yeah, the. Uh... Mm, what do I want to show? Off? Oh well, I added miscraft. I might as well show it off a little bit. Question is, do I have the stuff for the miscraft? Um. Well, the uh, first bit's easy enough. It's just a, uh, and this is something you'll always want to bring uh, along with you. I'm gonna grab three linking books. These are to the overworld because I created them in this world, the main world, the original world, which is called the overworld. And then you create the other things, uh, book, uh, descriptive books, which uh, use a feather. Never have any feathers. Notebook is a bunch of paper. Let's see. Book stand. That's the link book stand. So yeah, I'm gonna grab out. Where is that? Yeah, that's just wood. I'll grab a link book stand. You know what? Grab another link book stand. And it's uh, I think. It I'll need some squid ink, maybe, and uh, something else. <laughs> writing, is it? Yeah, it's writing. Writing desk, wood, ink, feather. So I'm going to need a couple feathers. I think I might have a chicken out here somewhere. Do I have a chicken? No. Meh. All the trolls I've seen, yes. Grab out some stuff. Grab out some stuff. Chicken feather net? No? Okay. Grab out some stuff. Chicken feather? No? Okay. Ties. That's important. Obsidian. There's the ink sack I'll need. Now to find the feather. How much do feathers cost, anyway? EMC wise. I don't know. Probably not that expensive. Ooh, maybe the lever will get me. No? Huh. Odd. Uh, I'm not really sure what they're worth. So I'll just dump that back in there and, uh. Oop. Missed that. Uh, let's try something else. Grab some other things. Uh, no? Mm, how about that? Yeah, I do that a lot uh, when I'm not actually playing. Nope, don't want to drop the wood in there. There, apples. I guess I'll just uh, be right back as soon as I find a chicken. To actually, no. I'm going to work on that some more until I find the feather, and I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, apparently 48. I should have remembered. It's wool. It's always wool. It's like I've done this a few times to get feathers because uh, I just never keep any feathers on me. Because I'm just like, okay, I need a feather. Get a feather. Use it. Okay, now what? Oh, hey, I just used my feather. Oops. 
So yeah, descriptive book, and then ah, I used my feather. Good news is I remember it's wool. Wool is basically what I need. Yeah, descriptive book. There. Screw it. Grab out almost a stack of feathers. That way I'll have feathers for ages. Because apparently they're important. And a writing table. Writing table is pretty. Um, let's see, I'll show you. Is here a good spot or do I want it over? Might as well make it over. There we go. Writing table. And I'll need the. Uh, I might as well grab that. Book. Notebook. All paper. Okay, that's easy enough. Paper is always somewhat easy to find because it's basically just a book. Less so. Third of a book. Yeah. Since I say that and then I have a hard time. Oh, it's probably because I had more than just that. Let's grab out. Hey, paper. There we go. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Grab some more. Not quite enough. Throw some wood in there. Grab some more. Not quite enough. Throw wood. Problem? Throw wood at it. There we go. Notebook. Yeah. It basically just stores all the things that you learned so far. And, uh, don't know if this, uh, descriptive thing will be any good. It's getting on time, so this will probably be about the last thing I show. Pull back like a bow. Release. Make sure you had the linking book before this, by the way, or else you're kind of screwed. Because you can't even cheat a uh, overworld linking book. And in fact, um, have them, yeah. It's cheat mode. Done. Save it. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. And this is, um,. Got a number of obelisks right out and about. Huh. I'm trying to see the pattern here. This seems to be a relatively uh, normal-ish world, I think. Oh, completely new, so I could come here and uh, do all kinds of tainted experiments. Oh, and uh, totally removes any concept of scarcity. So it looks like the uh, silver trees are a little more common here than uh, they should be. Yeah, um, so yeah, I found a place that's uh, full of silver trees. Good to note. Yeah, you should never find silver trees like that. At least that's my opinion. If you look, you'll notice, my god, there's a lot of them. And they're kind of easy to spot because uh, they glow. Though sometimes you get the glitch and it's like they're not glowing because of light not updating or some crazy thing like that. But yeah, lots and lots of those. So, um... Got a link book stand here. Um, I'm gonna build a little thing. Books can get damaged if they're just on the ground by anything that can hurt you. And when they're on a stand, they can't be just damaged, but they uh, can be damaged by rain and stuff. So, 
And like I said, lose link book, lose uh, way back. Didn't want it. There we go. Take, take that. Link book stand. You know what? C. Link book to overworld. Okay. Yeah, that's that's slightly important. And while I'm here, I can go and uh, make a link book, and it would be to this world. Though I'm not going to because I have the main one back at home. And then I, uh, I could have just used the uh, shoot it like an arrow thing, but I'm going to uh, right click on it, and that'll get me home. There we go. And uh, it should be on the ground right here. Right click to pick up. Then I come over here and uh, put it in here. And it was a normal biome distribution, frozen river, frozen ocean, jungle hills. So I was just going to see a lot of frozen areas and then the jungle area. It's got mine shafts. It's got that green fog you saw. Standard lighting, fast time, flat, and a normal sunset color. And when I was testing this, I got... I, I don't know if you'd count it really lucky or what, but uh, my first world was basically all the symbols all the time. <sighs> Silver trees. Silver treetopia. Silver treetopia. There we go. Got that, and um, might as well throw it down somewhere. Point not to. Mm -hmm. Um, right here by the door, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or possibly. Yeah, that's an infant water source. Yeah, right there, I'll do. There we go. So, um. It's good enough. It's good enough. And if you get far enough away, that's gone. So, yeah. That was that. Of course, while I was gone, this place was unloaded, so there wasn't anything happening. Hmm. Any last-minute things before I go? Put these in the tool area. No, it doesn't look like I have anything else to do right now. It's like I showed you the various things I just made. I showed you some of the Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, next time I'll get around to showing you what caused me to have so much sand. It's the mining technique that I figured out. Anyway, uh, this was Accurate Dranart, and I'm signing off.